you were attacked in your own or in somebody else's home 30 years ago. Yeah, it, it's one of those experiences where at the time I didn't think a, a lot of it. It was a quite a traumatising thing at the time in a way. I mean, it was an attempted rape. Um, but this was in the uh, very early 1990s. And if I had reported it to the police in those days, I suspect I wouldn't have got a very sympathetic reception. And I hadn't really thought about it much since until I was on a programme that I used to do on CNN with Bonnie Greer, who I know you know well. And she was talking about a date rape that she had undergone 40 years ago. And then she suddenly said, well, of course, this can happen to men too. And I just found myself saying, as you do, yeah, it happened to me. And you, it was one of those moments when the atmosphere in the studio just went completely silent. And so I then just sort of didn't give a huge amount of detail. Um, and I have talked about the subject of male rape on my radio show before. And it's one of those things that you don't talk about in polite society because people don't think it, it is a thing, but it really is. And within five minutes of the show starting, I had a full switchboard of calls and I, was, I couldn't believe how many people were calling in. In the circumstances, you went to this person's house, he locked you in and attacked you. Yeah, I mean, it was a pretty seedy experience in a way. I mean, I, I was not, how can I put this? I got into, I, I didn't, do anything sexually with another guy until I was in my late twenties. Um, and I kind of made up for lost time, um, without going into details. And I mean, I went back to this guy's flat and intending to do what you do. Um, but I then, I hadn't realized he was blind drunk. And once I realized that I thought, no, I don't want to do this. And he made it quite clear what he intended to do. And I said, you're not going to do that. And it's in the end, it's all about consent. And when I when I tweeted the guy, the Observer article over the weekend, I got a really positive response on Twitter, yeah. which sometimes you don't on this sort of thing. Apart from a few people who clearly didn't understand the concept of consent, that any time um, a woman or a man can stop and say, actually, no, I don't want to go through with this. And at that point, if the other person does try to go through with it, that is rape. Mm. Pure and simple. Mm.